Hello my friends, today I will show you how to create a fruit flies generator to feed your ants colonies. Uh, for this project we will need scissors, a knife, glue gun, uh, two small pet bottles and the fruit flies generator itself. As you can see it's a 5 liters pet bottle and inside I've put a little bit of fruits uh, and left it for, I don't know, maybe mm, two weeks already. So I have a lot of larvas there. You can see they're crawling on the walls of this bottle. This one is big, right? First of all, I need to say that having fruit flies uh, as a uh, food for your ants probably is not the most optimal option because larvas are quite bigger than flies and they have a lot of meat and proteins inside but they are, are really hard to collect and clean after uh, wash off the dirt uh, so uh, flies instead are really easy to collect and I will show you later how to collect them they are breeding very very quickly and you don't need anything, you just leave it there and every evening you will just collect, I don't know, maybe 50, maybe 100 of flies and just put, it them, put them in the freezer and you are done. Alright, so first of all, uh, when the fruit flies are hatching uh, out of the pupa, they are dying inside of uh, inside this mess so we will have to create kind of I wouldn't say it's a branch but some kind of you know soil not so maybe medium probably the best word for that uh, just in order to keep them out of that dirt inside or at the bottom of the bottle, big bottle. So what I'm doing right now, I'm trying to cut the spiral out of this bottle, probably scissors. That's enough, I guess. Uh, you can put a branch there, but I bet it will uh, be covered with mold, like in a few days. In a few days. Um, okay, what's next? Oh, I didn't mention that we will also for this project. We'll also need uh, two pieces of cloth. So, all right. Uh, probably this big, so I'll have to cut it. Let's see. Well, maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. So, why do you need that? As you can see, there is a water on the uh, inside of the bottle, and uh, the piece. Uh, the pieces of cloth will allow the water to evaporate. Uh, it will be like ventilation. This is why we need the knife. It is better to do this operation before you have a full bottle of flies, of course. But in my case, I didn't have time for that, so first I've got flies and larvas inside, and now I'm trying to upgrade this fruit fly generator, fruit flies generator.
you know what? I will probably leave it like that with only one piece of cloth and see how it works. Okay, what's next? Now I will tell you how to harvest the fruit flies from the generator. To do it, you will have to have a special lid. So I took a regular five bottles lid and made a hole in it so it fits the smaller pet bottles lid. Then I took a smaller lid, cut off the top of it so I've got the ring with the screw inside. And then I use a hot glue to glue it inside of the big lid so I can take the smaller pet bottle and screw it inside into the bigger lid. And then I can just put hole construction at the top of the big bottle. Then you will need to take a flashlight and put the flashlight above the smaller bottle like so. Then you have to turn off the light or just go to the, to the dark room and start tapping the bigger bottle. So the fruit flies will get scared and they will start flying up to the light. And you can see that some flies already got caught into small, uh, in a small bottle. And it works just like that. It's so, so easy, so straightforward. Uh, don't try to collect all of fruit flies out of generator. You just leave some amount of fruit flies inside to breed. Also, after you collected enough of flies, just screw off the smaller bottle, put the cotton pad inside of the big uh, bottle, and close the smaller bottle. Yeah, you can see a few flies inside. After that, you just put this bottle in, into freezer for 30-40 minutes so they will die and after that you are free to feed them to ants or just to store them for, for later. Okay, hopefully this video makes sense, hopefully you will find it useful and Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and put some thumbs up. See you next time. Bye.